It's the 22nd of October and I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath. Here are today's news headlines. Oscar Pistorius has been processed and spent his first night in a cell. All eyes are on Finance Minister Nshantla Nene as he prepares to deliver his first mini-budget speech and Cyril Ramaphosa returns to Lesotho to facilitate political talks. Prison officials have confirmed Paralympian Oscar Pistorius has been processed and placed in his cell in the hospital wing of the Hosi Mampuru II prison. Now, according to the facility's area commissioner, Pistorius was tired and tense but received a visit from the prison's chaplain and psychologist. He confirmed Pistorius had been placed in a side ward single cell in the hospital wing of the Pretoria prison. The hospital wing has 24-hour observation and two nurses on duty. Pistorius was sentenced to five years in prison after being found guilty of culpable homicide for the killing of Rivas Dienkamp. He also received a three-year sentence for discharging a firearm at a restaurant, but that sentence was suspended for five years. All eyes are on new finance minister Nhlantla Nene, who will deliver his maiden mini-budget or medium-term budget policy statement today. Fin24 reported that Nene may need to get through to state-owned entities and civil servants, which may earn him some political unpopularity. An economist has warned that the continual bailing out of problematic state-owned entities like SAA would be unsustainable, and this economist believes that the country is in for some tough words for Nene. The DA has called for an end to wasteful expenditure and handouts to state-owned enterprises. And finally, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa will travel to Maseru Lesotho today to facilitate the country's return to political stability. Ramaphosa will make the trip in his capacity as the South African Development Community, or SADC, facilitator. He'll hold consultations with political role players, including King Letsi III. National elections are expected to be held at the end of February next year, on a date to be set by the King, while the declaration also provided for Parliament to dissolve at the beginning of December. This all follows political unrest in the country that saw Lesotho Prime Minister Tom Tobane flee to South Africa at the end of August this year. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24 Live.